Everything on our planet, from the largest animals right down to the smallest microorganisms, needs somewhere to call home, just as people do. Each organism needs a place to live that provides food, water, space, shelter, and the right conditions to reproduce. We call these home places habitats, and each of them provides a particular place with particular conditions for all kinds of species to live. However, when it comes to studying and mapping the places that species use for homes and food, we think about them in a different way. We look at the different plants that grow there and classify them according to the combinations of particular species. And we use these combinations to describe what we call habitat types. Plant communities which correspond to a habitat type are a combination of species groups which are sometimes rare and important. These plants and their combination are a home or food for other species, such as insects. Habitat types also offer important services to humans too, such as improving water quality. For example, other forests have plants that do not appear in any other habitat type, and in addition, they stabilize and protect riverbanks and wetlands. When a habitat type is important, it's usually protected by law, so that it's kept in good condition for the benefit of nature and people alike. And under the EU Natura 2000 system, the most significant places for plant communities are known as priority habitat types. Among the most important habitat types in the three countries are juniper forest, alder forest and sand dunes. Some of these habitat types appear in different forms in the three countries, such as alder and juniper forests. In some places, they are in danger by abandonment and in others by intense human activity. Some habitat types face the same problem in all three countries, such as wet meadows, for example, which are significantly at risk from the expansion of reed beds. All of this is interconnected. Joint transboundary efforts in all three countries are needed for good results. Presbonet has been mapping the special habitat types around the lakes and sharing this knowledge with our national parks and managers of our protected areas. Efforts have already begun to restore some of these vitally important places and give our biodiversity a boost, notably in the alder forests of Ezerani Nature Park. When it comes down to it, habitats and habitat types are essential for lots of reasons but perhaps most of all, because they are always a home for something, whether animal, reptile or plant, insect or bird, or even for people. And we can all agree that there's nothing more important than home. <laughs>